If Jesus Christ gets down off the cross and told me Trump is with Russia, I would tell him, hold on a second, I need to check with the president if it's true. Why That's do you believe Donald Trump I'm over everybody else? Why? I believe in him. He's a good man. He has taken so much shots for see, us. See, this is the thing, is it can't be like, oh, you can't just say peace, because peace is now such a loaded word, because right. we have to also respect each other's opinions and beliefs. Well, at the same time, you just kind of want to go across the way and shake the person going, global warming is real. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think what's coming up more is natural disasters are always been a problem, and well, not a problem. They've always occurred. It's just a, it's natural disasters, but they're now in shorter amounts of time. So I think it's funny that the fear that we all have in the world that we feel so there's there's like a, a rise at the moment, especially is because of natural disasters occurring more frequently, and that's out of our hands. Out of our control. Isn't that terrifying? I'm a great believer in all forms of energy, but we're putting a lot of people out of work. Our energy policies are a disaster. People are so stuck in their own beliefs and fears that the idea that there's something new that they don't know is too difficult to handle. We can deploy a half a billion more solar panels. We can have enough clean energy to power every home. We can build a new modern electric grid. That's a lot of jobs. That's a lot of new economic activity. And I think even people who are believers of global warming are still culprits. Because we might believe in global warming, but we still might not do anything about it. I'm going to say I'm one of them. I do as much as I can, but I also don't. Me too. I don't know what that but I'm not a denier. Donald thinks that climate change is a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese. And I, f I feel so like stuck because I don't. Part of me want like wants to rise up, and the other part of me doesn't know if that even matters anymore. Yeah, and but my part is I don't even know what up, rising up means anymore. What do you? Well, that's the next question. Ah, that's what do you think it means? We honestly, we're all stuck in limbo, whether we believe in the left or the right, or we're in the middle or whatever. It's, it comes back to the idea of um, revolt and stuff is none of us actually know how to react. So we go to what we know, which is the past history of revolt. Now that's whether it's marching, um, whether it's rioting. Uh, really, those are the two main things, or whether it's going out and shooting a bunch of fucking people. Um, but these are all things that have been done repeatedly over and over again. We've not created anything new. I think right away he also tried to secure the borders. Um, How? Which is, I mean, the wall didn't happen. Well, the wall is, you know, they have the prototypes up. First of all, we've got to accept the fact that we all have different opinions. It doesn't mean we can't all go towards the same thing. But that has always been a really hard thing to do. I don't know how one can do that. I don't know. He has no credibility for me as a voter. Because within government, everyone is, it's already become sides. You say government, everyone's decided on a side and they don't even know if they're on sides. <laughs> That's already a fact. I think the swamp is also no doubt Congress, Senate, um, to be able to clean that up somehow. People have come together who have different opinions and thoughts or when it was, all people in one job, their jobs are going away. You know, I never went to college just your typical guy who's trying to make a living. And for years, they've been just kicking us to the side. Actually, sometimes in war, I mean, a great example is what's just happened in, um, uh, in the Middle East, where on both sides, women walk together. You know, they both have different opinions, both, both have different religious beliefs, but they, they walk to Jerusalem to go, we've had enough of your war. I mean, that's a great example. Finding just that feeling and that emotional um, connection that everyone gets after some sort of catastrophe that automatically wants us to hold the hand of the person next to you or just pat the back of someone 
uh, that you see across the world just winking at someone or, you know, it's just a signal, just a knowledge of connection. Because um, I feel like the, the starting point really, I, I wish high up, I mean, I guess this is like very high minded, but I feel like across all, if not most, I'll say most, we can agree that we all would like to live 